Trish from the Cabri Kitchen is here in the Everyday Gourmet Kitchen. We're joining forces to make some delicious cookies. We are. Mm -hmm. I love a good cookie. Me too. <laughs> especially with a good coffee. <gasps> oh, absolutely. Awesome. Short mm -hmm. These ones are the Cadbury Top Deck Cafe Cookies. Oh, yum. So they're those yummy big cookies. I've got 250 grams of butter. I'm just going to chop that up before I put it in. It's nice and soft, yeah. which is great. That helps it to cream up nicely. Mm -hmm. You go. And you've just got a paddle there, which makes it um, easier to mix together. That's it. We just want to break all that up and incorporate a little bit of air into that mix. And some brown sugar uh -huh. and some two-thirds of a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of white sugar. OK. Now, whilst that's working away, mm -hmm. I'll get you to measure out the flour, if you could, please. OK. Justine. Two varieties of flour today. Yes. Uh, three cups of self-raising flour. Mm -hmm. And uh, two-thirds of a cup of plain flour. Sometimes when you're baking, um, it's good to have a good co a combination because you want the self-raising to give the lightness but you don't want it to become too cake-like. So often you'll have a combination of different flowers together in that situation. Always measuring accurately when I'm with you, Trish. <laughs> that's because you know I'm a stickler for it, Justin. Well, that's why all your recipes work to a T. That's right. So measuring it oh, off perfectly. Look at that. You've taught me well. Yes, I have. It's true. <laughs> what I need to do here is to crack a couple of eggs. That's creaming together nicely. You'll see that the ch the colour of the mixture changes a little. I'll just turn that down and add a couple of eggs. There we go. And look at you go there. Mm -hmm. It seems like a lot of flour, but like you said, these are giant cookies. Well, <laughs> we're going to look. I guess under normal circumstances, the recipe would probably make about 24 small cookies, so yeah. it's going to make 12 large-style cookies. So I've just added a little bit of vanilla there. I'm going to allow those ingredients to mix together again. Some of the chocolate is actually going to go into the cookies and some of it will actually go onto the cookies. So what we need to do is just to cut it. I think it's good to sort of just cut each of the little blocks into four mm -hmm. so that it actually holds the beautiful white chocolate together with a beautiful milk chocolate yeah. underneath. I love Top Deck. Me too. <laughs> so we're just it's cutting delicious. that straight Yep, through straight there. through. And then we can go back the other way and it'll work a treat. Perfect. Yum. Cut that straight down there. Yep. There we go. That was looking great. So I'm just going to turn that off for a sec. And now you've got that chocolate oh, done. You're doing a nice job with that chocolate. Well, I've got to get it there. right for you, Trish. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. Good work. <laughs> OK, so we're keeping half of this. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put half in. So I'm actually going to take this off and we'll stir that through. OK. There we go. All right, now what we need to do is to start to put the flour through. OK. And just the whole lot, or should we slowly add? Well, I'll put about half and we'll yep, see how we go. I think that. a bit of elbow grease will be required. Yep. Go for yeah. it. Or a lot of elbow grease, maybe. Okay. Now, it's quite a firm dough, but this is what it is, and we're going to cut them yeah. later on, aren't we? That's it. So, yeah, well, I mean, that's the thing. You, you can do that on the mixer if yeah. you want, but we're going to put the chock in. I think maybe we'll put the chock in now, hey? Yes, absolutely. In it goes. That's yeah. half of it. Oh, there we go. See, so it'll come through. It's like, it's almost like a pastry dough, yeah. really. Yeah, OK, that's looking pretty good. Mm-hmm. And now I'm just going to turn that out onto the bench. Oh, yeah, see, there's only a tiny little bit. We could just knead that through. So normally you would just spoon this straight onto the trays, but because we want them to be these yummy big cafe-style cookies, mm -hmm. I'm just going to knead this together just slightly so that we can actually measure it a little more evenly. OK, so what we need to do, because we're going to make 12 large-style cookies, um, we need to... The reason why I've done it this way is it's much easier for us to actually cut it into 12 fairly even portions. Yep. So you could make it into a log, say... There. Well, now, hang on, what have I got to do? One, two, three, one. I bet they won't be the same. I'm trying hard, but it won't be right. Perfect. Nearly. Anyway, we can... Great. Those poor little sad ones on the end, we can add That's a little right. bit too. Yep. All so right. how are we shaping these? OK, so we're just going to roll them into a ball. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a little bit more there, because I think that's a big one. Sure. Into a ball. Yep. And then we're going to put them onto the trays. So we can only really do three at a time, because they're quite large okay. on a tray. So the batches... Just like that. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And how long do these take to cook? Um, about 18 to 20 minutes because yeah. they're quite large in a moderate oven. Yep. If you want to pull that over here, yep. I'll I'll actually put some of that chocolate on. If you want to finish off those three, and you can actually press them down quite a lot till okay. they're about mm, 10 10 centimeters or so. Mm -hmm. 
They'll spread quite a lot. Poke it just like that. There's another one for you. They already look fantastic the way they are, but what I love about the top deck is you'll actually see the milk chocolate and the white chocolate there. It won't spread out everywhere, it'll hold its shape. That's exactly right. Yes, it won't melt down into yeah. the mix. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, into a moderate oven, 18 to 20 minutes until they're nice and golden and we're ready to go. Great. How good do they look? They are beautiful. Look how large. It's the size of my head, Trish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a huge cookie. <laughs> what, what we've done is to allow them to cool on the tray. The word biscuit actually means twice cooked, so Ooh. we need to let them cook in the oven and then finish their cooking on the tray. Mm -hmm. and then they firm as they cool down. Mm -hmm. So they are perfect now. Put them around, make them look like they've come straight out of a cafe. Look at that. The last one, well, I think that's for us to try. I right? think so, yeah. <laughs> I think, oh, yeah. Nothing changes with us, Trish. <gasps> Look how beautiful this cookie is inside. It's crumbly, and that top deck has held its shape quite nicely. Yeah. I'm going to make sure I have a bite where that is. See, that self raising flour gives that nice crumbly mm. texture inside. Mm. Good? Mm. Oh, and there's coffee, mate. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little latte with those? Really, you don't need to go to a cafe, make them at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs>